Well, good morning, boys and girls, and good morning, Walter. How are you this morning? I'm pretty good, Mrs. Crozier. How are you? Not too bad. So we just finished our eight lesson series on our summer road trip series. It was so fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it at home. Okay, were you? Uh, did you enjoy it? You were part of the journey a little bit, Walter. I liked watching it. Yes. I liked hearing about your stories. Yes. Of course, I don't go on road trips. No. I go on sea trips. Sea trips, yes. Because I'm a narwhal. Yes, we know you're a narwhal. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Well, today we want to talk about Jesus and how he blesses um, the children, how he blesses you guys. Do you guys know that you were a blessing? What is a blessing, Walter? Can you describe what is a blessing? What does that mean? Well, I think a blessing is something really beautiful or wonderful or good that God gives us or does for us. I'm very thankful and I have lots of blessings, so many blessings I'd like to sing about it. Can I sing today? Well, I would love that. And I'm sure the boys and girls at home would love that too. Kids, you may have heard my Narwhal song before. And if you have, you're welcome to sing along. I'm thankful for the sky. I'm thankful for the sea. I'm thankful for my horn because it makes me me. I love that song. I, I just love it. It's um, It just is, is this really refreshing? Dude? I'm a very blessed sea creature. Yes, you are. Very much so. God has really blessed you. Well, today, boys and girls, we are going to turn in our Bibles to uh, Mark chapter 10. And we just have a few verses we're going to read this morning. So why don't you go grab your Bibles? And uh, Walter is going to tell you where the book of Mark is found in your Bible. Is it found in the Old Testament or is it found in the New Testament? What do you guys think? What do you think, Walter? I think it's in the New Testament, Mrs. Crowley. Yes, and I think you're right. Is All right. That, I'm right? Yes, you are right. How does it go? It Score goes. Score one for Walter. Score one for Walter. Matthew. Mark. That's right. So we're going to end there. Mark chapter 10. We're going to start reading at verse 13, okay? I am going to read the Bible story for us this morning, okay? So turn in your Bibles and follow along. So the little children and Jesus. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them. But the disciples rebuked them. Why would they do that? When Jesus saw this, he didn't like it. He was upset. He said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly, I tell you, anyone who will, who will not receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms. He placed his, hand, his hands on them and he blessed them. Isn't that beautiful? Jesus cares about you. You might think, well, I'm only, I'm only four or I'm only seven. Does, really, does Jesus really care about me? I'm just little. What do you think? Do you think that you matter to Jesus? Do you think that you matter to Jesus, Walter? I think we all matter to Jesus. And you know, there's some things that happen to us that maybe makes us feel like we don't matter very much. One time... We were playing playing some C games. Right. And everybody else got picked for the team before I did. Aww, Sally got... the starfish got picked. Yeah. Barry the beluga, everybody. And I was the last one to get picked. Right. And I felt kind of sad, but you know what? What? God really reminded me that even though I didn't get picked first, that he really cares for me. And he thinks I'm very important. I'm very important to him. Yes. We all are. Sally, Barry. Yep. Yeah. Even you, Mrs. Crozier. Wow, thank you. I know, I know that Jesus loves me very much. I just know that. And it's beautiful. So it doesn't matter if you're one years old or if you're a hundred years old. You matter to Jesus. And Jesus wants to bless you. Isn't that beautiful? That's really beautiful. The Bible says that your name is engraved on Jesus' hands. Isn't that beautiful? He always remembers you. You're just right close to him. He knows where you are. He cares for you. Absolutely. He loves you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's think, guys. What are some ways that Jesus has blessed you? What are some ways that Jesus has blessed us? Well, you know what? God has protected us from harm. 
He brings true happiness. He just, God knows how to make his children happy. He really does. He knows the desires of our hearts and he wants to, he, he wants to bless us and give us good gifts. Um, and he helps us in school with our tests that are really hard. And he gives us yummy food and fun toys to play with. God blesses his children. And I really want you to feel special today and really um, realize how important you are to Jesus. He gave me my wonderful narwhal horn. Yes, it is beautiful. Thank it's, you, Mrs. Crozier. You know, and sometimes when you shake that horn around, I think, oh my word, he's going to hit me in the head I'll with his be horn. Careful. But he's never hit me yet, so that's good. Not yet. That's right. Um, narwhal, did, or sorry, Walter. My did, name is Walter. Yes, I know. We just got talking about your horn and it threw me off track there. But would you pray for us this morning and, and pray a blessing on all the boys and girls that are have tuned in this morning? Would you would you do that for us? I will pray, Mrs. Crozier. Are we ready? We're going to do our P-R-A-Y. And we're going to pray. Jesus, thank you so much that you made all the creatures on the earth so special. But your word says that we as people were made in your image. Mm -hmm. We are extra special to you. All the boys and girls that are listening today, if they feel forgotten, if they feel lonely, they are not forgotten to you. Mm -hmm. I think, Jesus, when you blessed the kids, you were probably high-fiving them. They were probably hopping up on your lap. You love all the kids in the mm -hmm. world and all the kids listening today. Mm -hmm. You care about them very much and bless them today and help them to know how much you love them. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Awesome. Thank you so much for praying this morning, Walter. All right. So I want to challenge you with a craft today. I want you guys to go outside, maybe in your flower gardens or in creation, and I want you to find a flat rock. And I want you to draw on it or paint on it or write on it how God has blessed you. What is, God, what is something that God has blessed you with? Or was something that you're you're thankful for? Maybe you want to picture, make a picture of your family that you know your family is a blessing to you, or whatever it may be. You know, I want to challenge you with that. And you know, send me a picture. Take a picture and send it to me. I love looking at all your artwork. It's beautiful. We have some really creative kids in this in this bunch of um, students at Parkway. So send them to me. Um, yeah. So I want you to have fun with that. Um, again, our DVBS is happening very happening soon. soon, very soon, July 26th to the 30th. We're going to make a splash for Jesus. Sign up um, today, um, and you can go to, let me tell you where to go to, um, myparkwaychurch.ca. Click on News and Events, and then you'll see a registration form there. Fill it out, okay? We got some awesome things planned for you. We're going to zoom in in the morning. And on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we have some fun, super fun activities planned for your family and our family. And we're just going to have a great time together. So make sure you do that today. All right. What time is it, Walter? It's time for... Professor Boom. Professor Boom. Okay, so here we go. On the count of three, we're going to boom on over, okay? So here we go. Boom. 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 boom and boom. boom have a great day kids and don't forget to sign up for parkway dvbs make a splash for jesus have a great day Good morning, children. It's Professor Boom here with another Professor Boom experiment. We are glad you have tuned in today, and thank you for doing the three booms, which always brings me to your living room. We have been talking about electricity and power these past few weeks, and usually in your household, when mom or dad or grandma or grandpa flicks on the light switch, the lights come on in the house. The electricity is turned into light. Energy changing into different forms and different sources. And today, we are going to talk about a different way to make light through a glow stick. How many people use glow sticks? Now, you can get glow sticks very inexpensively at the Dollarama, Dollar Tree, somewhere in town. You can buy glow sticks very cheaply. But did you know that chemical reactions can produce light as well? When we break the glow stick, the hydrogen peroxide oxidizes the phenyl oxalate ester, resulting in a chemical phenol in an unstable peroxacid ester. The unstable peroxide ester decomposes, resulting in an additional phenol and cyclic peroxy compound. 
The cyclic peroxy compound decomposes to carbon dioxide. This decomp decomposition re releases energy to the dye. The electrons in the dye atoms jump to a higher level then fall back down, releasing energy in the form of light. This is Professor Boom's very complicated and, and very difficult to understand way of saying that when we break the little glass tube inside here, chemicals mix together. Chemicals mix together and create such beautiful light. Look at that. Isn't it wonderful, all the things that God has created? We may not understand all the fancy words, all the things that happen, but scientists like Professor Boom are finding out new things about the world that God created every day. The scripture says, since the creation of the world, God's attributes are clearly seen, being understood from the things that are made. His eternal power has been seen in Romans 1.20. All the wonderful things that God has created. Why don't you, with mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, find a glow stick today? and see science and see God's creation at work. God bless you today, kids.